Good morning and welcome to Scaffell Pike, which is part of the Three Peaks Challenge. We climbed Mount Snowden two days ago and now we're in the Lake District about to climb the highest mountain in England. Excited for this one. <laughs> Can't wait. So it's going to be quite a steep ascent to begin with. We're parked in the Wasdale car park just next to the campground here and we will be following the all trails map so I'll put a link to that below and it's quite a steep ascent so this is going to be the quickest way to hike Scaffell Pike and we'll take you along for the journey so you can see what the terrain's like, how we found it and keep watching to the end of the video where we will run through our top tips and our thoughts on the hike. I started the video in the car this morning because it is quite windy here. And in the Snowden video, we can feel wind at the start. Now let's get going. Snowden! I won't be doing too much talking this one, so enjoy the hike with us. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Apparently, it's an ascent pretty much from the start. Was there, Rach? Did it all of it? We made it to the summit. It was pretty windy, but the wind has just died down. Now it's the same route back down to the car. Hopefully we'll get some views when we get out of the cloud and have some lunch. Quick lunch stop, cheers Rachel. M&S does uh, really good food. Mexican style bean and sweet potato wrap, delicious. That was amazing. That was really, really fun. Highest, tough. yeah, tough. Really tough. Quite strenuous. Yeah. Tougher than Snowden in terms yeah. of gradient going up and down. Yeah, and yeah, if you have hiking poles, like I would definitely recommend if you've got achy or sore knees like me, like they've really helped with the cut, like with, with coming down because it was hard yeah. and it was steep. It was steep. Yeah. But stay tuned, we're going to head back to our accommodation now. So we will see you there after we've had a shower and give you a full rundown of our thoughts and top tips. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, that hike was absolutely incredible. Gorgeous. We went with the Wasdale route because from reading online, it is the recommended route for beginners. And I'd agree, it was really, really yeah. good. It's the most direct and the quickest route but it is pretty strenuous it's not easy it's pretty much an ascent from the car park so obviously depending on your fitness levels will depend on how easy it is yeah it's pretty pretty steep lots of steps and it gets a bit rocky so it's a bit of a scramble at the top and also the weather came in so it's quite hard for us to 
to see where we were going, but we had the All Trails map downloaded mm. offline which I'd highly recommend doing or yeah. having a physical map and compass, yeah. if not. But Wasdale car park was really good. The place where we actually parked the car for the day. Top tip, make sure you bring some coins. It's nine pounds for the day and we didn't have any coins, but luckily the lady was just opening the shop just behind. So we could purchase our ticket there. It was still cash only, no cards. So you'd have cash if it's in the hours they're open or ideally just have some coins ready. I think that's the, that's the best way to go. And because the rain came in, I'd highly recommend having a rain jacket with you. We have North Face rain jackets they're so and they're good. really, really good. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, <laughs> not yet. But they uh, kept us really dry mm. along with our North Face shoes, actually. Yeah. There is one stream crossing. You could probably get away without wa waterproof shoes, but it just made the whole experience more enjoyable. So a couple of bits of equipment there if you're planning your trip. Obviously a good day pack. How much have been a day pack, Rage? Well, funny you ask. So I think the most important thing is around food and water. So we took 1.5 litres each, which we thought was perfect. Because of the day, it was a little bit chilly, especially up at the top, we weren't drinking a whole lot of water. But I can imagine on the days that it's quite warm, we'll be drinking a lot more. So I would say at least a litre and a half per person for the hike. And then when it comes to food, we are quite big on over preparing which i think is also a good thing so we always have lots of snacks and lots of food with us so we had a sandwich each we also had lots of sweets and some delicious things to eat along the way as well to give us lots of energy protein bars bananas things like that so we thought that was also really really good also for your pack we would recommend hiking poles if you're like me and you've got sore knees or you just enjoy having them they were really really helpful especially on the descent but yeah they were really helpful along with the food there isn't a cafe at scaffold pike so make sure you do bring all your food we didn't see any cafes or anything yeah. the only toilet was at the bottom as as well in terms of accommodation we stayed at the yha Bell and it was fantastic so good so it's 50 pounds for two nights which i think is the cheapest and best accommodation <laughs> we've ever stayed in yeah best value for money for sure it has a really good kitchen so you want to cook your own food and you can even order meals there as well so you don't have to bring your own food yeah they have a chef on site which was kind of amazing <laughs> for and a the, YHA. yeah it's unbelievable yeah and the cherry on top there's a pub next door <laughs> yeah. called the wool pack it's really well deserved pizza and a drink the beer was really good yes so i'd highly recommend it so overall it was absolutely amazing if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video see you then